Hi folks, Anders here and welcome to another video. So, yesterday was payday, hurrah! Um, so I went to the local town um, and popped into the local Poundland and they're doing a new range of like Flego, as in fake rip-off Lego. And Poundland stuff's uh, squiffy to say the least. Uh, I think it's called Bricks B-R-I-X is their normal brand. Um, not great. But we do do some quite interesting little trains, um, which I've bought before now, um, but it's not the greatest stuff. But when I went in yesterday, they're doing some new stuff, and it's quite interesting. Um, let's close the door. Keep warm things, it's cold this morning. It was minus two in the night. It's very chilly and it was frosty this morning. Right, so yeah, and they've got this new brand, and it's called Bri uh, Build X. Um, and the sets are... They look quite good, I must admit. So I picked up a few. Um, they're mostly, a, well, obviously a pound, and then they've got some bigger sets which were three pounds. Um, and then they've got some weird bizarro um, things as well. So the first ones we're going to go through is these guys, which they're called Combat Heroes, and they're oversized minifigs. And they just looked odd. I mean, these are a pound. There's four in the set, I only managed to get two different ones. So I have Mystery and I have Bolt. Um, yeah. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll give these an open first and we'll have a look and then we'll go on to the uh, Build X. So these are made by... It is called Toy Figure. Um, warning, not suitable for children under six, 36 months. And as Ashen says, Sad Onion. Sad onion. Um, yeah, so they look a bit interesting. You've got good versus evil. And so you've got four different ones. You've got Portal, you've got Mystery, you've got Iron Warrior, and Bolt. So basically you've got some teleporty guy, Mysterio, Iron Man, and The Flash. Yeah, um, but weirdly, they're like, um, for some reason, so if I show you like this, so this guy here, so this, this is Bolt. And he's got like normal kind of looking hair, but on the back, if you have a look at him, where is it there? He's got like a weird helmet on. So, so yeah, so quite interesting. And they come with assault rifles because, of course, you know, if you're a superhero, you need like an AK-47. So, so right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll open these up first, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give them a review. So if I put it there and here, so we can see properly. So this is Bolt. Combat Heroes Academy. Bolt has lightning speed and superhuman endurance with the power to shoot lightning. So why does he need a gun and a katana? <sighs> okay. Uh, what's it say? Yeah, just the same stuff on the back. So, yeah. At least it's easy open packaging. And I find it quite interesting that we've got, like, unopposable legs as well, can you see? It's like... Meep, 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 meep. But do you know what? Oh, it's got weird turning head. That's odd. Can it pop off? Oh no, I'm decapitated. Um, yeah, and he's, he's holding something. Uh, what's he actually holding? It's like a weird, like, stud thing. Uh, but yeah, um, I mean, it's cheap and plastic. But you know what? That's quite fun. I mean, why he needs a. Oh, dropped it. Why he needs a katana. Which, ah, hang on, does that slot into the. Yes, it, no, maybe. Um, Yes, there you go. Hiya! Here's a katana, and of course, he needs an assault rifle because guns, erg, erg. And obviously, I mean, Lego do do guns, but they don't do army related stuff. They never have, um, quite oddly. Um, and yeah. No, we actually clip in. Yeah, there we go. Hey! I am um, Bolt, I need an assault rifle because... Blah. Right, so let's chuck him there. And the next one we have is... What have we got? We've got Mystery. <clears throat> Which has a giant hammer and another assault rifle. Uh, Mystery, the poisonous villain has mastered the dark arts with the power to teleport. Wow. Alright, so let's open him up, and yeah, and again, I mean, if you look at the actual back of it, it's got like a cloak and a um, kind of like 
capey, helmety thingy, like you'd get with like Lego ghosts. And for some reason, he's got like the, you know, traditional ladies hair finger. <sighs> so yeah, so he's got a hammer because you know, why not? He needs a hammer. He and his little assault rifle. I mean, they they feel cheap. And um, well, yeah, they're not properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but you know what? <laughs> for a quid. For an oversized bizarre minifig, I quite like them. The paint works and decals are quite nice on them. There's no like flashing or anything like that. I mean, the backs of them are a little bit, they're not like normal Lego, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, for a pound each, if you want some weird, quirky, oversized minifigs, uh, for comparison, let's, let's find young Harry here. So that's a normal sized Lego minifig. Uh, yeah. Twice for size. But yeah, they're quite cool. <clears throat> I like those for a pound. Why not? And lots of packaging. Um, yes. So cardboard will be kept and put in, to use for kindling in my fire, and then all the plastic will be recycled accordingly. Right, so let's move those guys out of the way. So these are their new range. So this is Build X ones. So um, I've got I've managed to get a few, and I've got a few more as well. Um, so we'll go through like prices for them. So, um, so all of these obviously little ones here where boobs were a pound. Um, you get four minifigs. A bit derpy faces, but they actually look like proper like Lego minifigs. Like you know every actual build and stuff like and the, the, the plastic moulding and stuff. So that's the emergency response team. <clears throat> Combat assignment, search and destroy. So we've got some little army guys. Um, Construction, build, develop. So for some reason we've got some more police in that one. Um, or maybe security guards, I'm not really sure. Look at the faces, we'll open these up in a bit. And then you've got some little sets like these as well. Emergency response, serve and protect. You've got a little police uh, fire truck. And a little diddy police car as well. Um, I think I had got more in those kind of range, but yeah, they were quite neat. And then the big sets, and these were three pound each. Massive, massive box. And they've got construction, build and develop, so you get a big dump truck, which looks quite neat, I must admit. Um, and you can build multiple models with them, which is quite quite cool, actually. Yeah. And then we've got a little, um, little army truck as well, a little jeepy kind of thing. Um, and again, multiple models that you can build with that. So, so I mean, looking at them from the box, I mean, I don't know, but yeah, you can tell they're £3 because they've got the little free fingers on them. Because that's Poundland's new way of doing it, and that obviously is just a pound because it hasn't got a one or a two or a three or a five or whatever on it. So let's open up one of these things and have a look, shall we? Right, so these are the emergency response, serve and protect, and destroy the packaging. And there we go. Right. Keep that out of the way and out of the way. So here we go, we've got four little minifigs. They're not quite the same as, I mean, they're the same size as a minifig, so let's have a look. So, but they feel, they don't feel too bad. I mean, the hands stick out way too far. <clears throat> do they push in? Oh yeah, they do push in a bit more, actually. That's not so bad. Um, and the hats, do the hats swap? Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, they fit. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. We've got weird hollow things in the head. I mean, the heads are pretty much, you know, Lego size and the hands and stuff, but the bodies are a bit more. I don't know if you can see properly, but they're a bit more contoured. That's quite, quite strange. Um, and the legs, do the legs swap over? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, so they're completely interchangeable. But yeah, they are quite contoured as well, which is quite cool. Let me just turn it around a bit more. Like the camera. Oh my God. <clears throat> trying to use natural daylight to film with rather than thing, but yeah, I mean, okay, so they're quite interesting. Right, okay. They're not bad. I mean, they feel, feel all right, and some of the faces are a bit better. I mean, that guy's all right. That one looks like he's going to eat your soul. And that guy, he's got kind of a little quirky smile. He's not too bad. And then... That fellow there, he's just got normal glasses on. He's a bit like me without a beard. Um, yeah, do you know what? They're not bad at all. They're a bit derpy looking faces on some of them. And it's odd that like, the contour of the, the, the body is slightly, 
slightly different, but that's cool. I, I like those. Right, so let's chuck those out of the way. Um, let's open up mm, construction, build, and develop. Open up these guys. Destroy. Um, let's see if I can move the camera a bit more that away so we can actually see properly. There we go. So there, that's better. Hopefully you can see those quite well. Um, so yeah, we've got another little four, four little mini guys here. Um, again, it's got those weird kind of contoured bodies to them. Actually, let's place them down on there and then we'll zoom, zoom in so that you can see a little bit better. You gonna focus for me? Come on, you can focus. <clears throat> focus, focus. For some reason my camera doesn't want to focus. Wonderful. Bear with me a second, folks. Okay, so evidently this, this camera doesn't actually focus in that well when it zooms, so if we, we're going to have to zoom out. Whoop, and there we go. Can you see him? It's just not going to focus today. Come on. Let's try that. Anyway. Right, but yeah, so you've got another little four guys there. They're quite cool. Again, with a weird kind of contoured bodies, but still, not bad, not bad, not bad. Right, so, um, let's do a build, shall we? <coughs> well, actually, no, we'll open up these other pack first. So this is the army guy ones. Um, <coughs> Desert troops. Yep. Well, at least it's easy open packaging. It's not covered in terrible cable ties and stuff. So, yeah, we've got another four little guys there. Oh, I'm dropping them on the floor. I do like the tan pieces. You don't often see tan. And the green's quite nice as well. Um, yeah, they're quite cool. I mean, again, some kind of derpy faces. Um, but not bad. Not bad at all. Poundland. You're doing quite well. Right, so let's do a build. Let's see how terrible the instructions are. So we've got this little emergency response police truck. So let's give it an open. A piece of pointless card. We've got some fingers. Oh, we have got instructions. Um, yeah, where is it? Vehicles. Warning, not suitable for children. Okay. Um, under 36 months. Um, where is it made by? Produced by PDZZ Patterson House, Midland Road, Warsaw. That's my old hometown. Nice. Um, and somewhere else in Dublin. But yeah, these are just like single build ones, not multi builds, but it's still cool. Um, and we've got some very, <coughs> very generic instructions. Um, minus nine degrees. Well, it was minus two this morning. Right, so let's um, see if we can zoom in a little bit. Yep, that's in focus. And let's give it a bit of a build, shall we? There's no instructions on how to build the, the minifig. Oh no. How am I ever going to figure it out? Right, so we can see there. So where's the little guy? He's quite cool actually. Yeah, he's not too bad. Now he, weirdly, he's not contoured as much. He looks more like an actual normal minifig. That's interesting. Gosh, you even have to assemble the legs as well. Okay, so there's one leg. Is that a leg? What the heck? No. Where's the legs? Hang on, they got multi. Wait a minute. So if I do that and clip that into there, it doesn't tell you how to build the, the actual. Um, geez, not suitable for um, grown ups either to try and assemble these. Good God. Nope. They've got no, because that won't. How weird. That way. Okay. Right. That's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they have the legs on them are actually multi. I don't know if you can see here, but the legs have got two points of of motion on them. 
So they've almost got knees. That's that's weird. But quite cool. Wow, okay. And the arms. And got they've got ball joints on the arms as well. What the heck? Yeah, so they've got ball joints on the heart on the arms. That is odd. Yeah, so they've got ball joints on the arms as well, and then they clip into there. How odd! Wow! The hands feel just like normal Lego hands. But yeah, that's 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 strange. Very strange. So yeah, so you see, like, so you can actually articulate the arms. Wow. Okay, that is a cool feature. Um, I mean, yeah, a bit fiddly to put together, and I don't know about durability, but hey, Lego, when are you going to get like you know multi jointed? arms and legs for your minifigs because because Poundland are doing all right with it you know but yeah okay that's cool wow all right okay let's build the actual main dude then now the bricks feel don't feel too bad they maybe a little bit plastic obviously there's nothing on the studs no detail or anything on the studs at all but all right so da -da -da. so we need one of those Da -da -da, one of those, and then one of those guys. It's pretty straightforward instructions, can't really go wrong. And there, and then we want a, uh, what we're looking at, we want a white piece in the middle. And we want a three, six, um, and we're missing a piece. Oh no, we're not. I'm an idiot. Let's got one of those guys, and then one of those guys. Okay, and then one of those. This build's quite nice. It's quite sturdy, actually. This is not bad at all. And it feels, it feels, I don't know, maybe a bit greasy, but... Geez, you even have to assemble the steering wheel. And the steering wheel is oh, spot on Lego. Steering wheel, you know, it's they're not even tried. Oh, I think the actual wheel itself may be slightly, slightly different. Um, but yeah, so that goes. Where's that one go? That goes there. Then we want a wheel arch, wheel arch, flip it over, and what that a 110. I imagine is the set number. There hasn't actually set numbers or anything on them, I don't think. Six plus five quite fifty two brick pieces. No, there's no set numbers or anything on them, so yeah. Um okay, on a couple of little lights on the front. Why would you have red lights on the front? Which are brake lights. Are you crazy. <coughs> so there. Uh, little windscreen. Windscreen. Um, I mean, it's kind of alright. I mean like so it feels it feels fine. It's just no, that doesn't feel so nice actually. Doesn't feel like proper Lego windscreen glass. I can't can't describe it. Just doesn't quite feel right, you know what I mean? Um Okay, and that is one like one of the things from like the normal space sets. Tires, a bit squishy, not bad. Slightly different to, to Lego tires, but they do look the same from, from the outside. Um uh, dip and dip. Oh, we've got one spare piece as well. We've got one spare little light. <clears throat> so we're doing the same as Lego, where, where you get the extra little, the, the probably easiest bit that you're going to lose. Oh, hang on. That's not so good. <clears throat> it could do with... I mean, either... See, look, falls apart just there. All right, so it could do with either... On the bottom there it could do an, an extra like four by two or it could just be like that long piece there should be a, like a, a, a long eight straight sort of thing because it does and you fall off like that um, let's put officer Jeffers in um, 
I don't know where his officer Jeff is, he just is. Like his face though. And if we put him in, him in, in there, and oh no, his hat's falling off, and everything's oh no. Yeah, wow. Okay, so and maybe a bit of a design flaw there, but build wise, clips together nicely. It's actually not too bad. We'll stick that on there as a little extra siren. <sighs> Do you know what? That's not bad, but that, oh yeah, and legs keep falling off as well. <laughs> um, but you know what, build quality, no, no, no. That's why Lego don't do like multi <laughs> movement limbs, because they just fall off. Um, but it feels all right. I say, I don't know, there's like a weird, it's kind of greasy. I don't, it's not really greasy, but it just feels odd. But yeah, okay, do you know what, that's not bad. Um, I'd say, bit of a design fault, could be sorted. I mean, we could probably easily modify it, but yeah. I mean, instructions are pretty straightforward to follow. They're not too bad at all. Cool, right. So, um, let's move on to, we won't do the other little set. We're gonna do this big guy now. We're gonna do the build X construction, build develop. This is the dirt truck, 84 brick pieces. Um, how much was it in that one, actually? That was 48 pieces in that guy, right? Uh, but I'm assuming they're counting all of the individual components of the actual minifig as well. So 84 brick pieces, three quid uh, for a little dump truck. I wonder if it actually works. So let's open it and see. <coughs> actually, what I'm going to do is I bought a tray from Poundland as well. Obviously for food and stuff. Um, yeah, so we've got some card. Um, I've got some instructions. I've got two bags of pork. A load of extra crap. I mean, geez, why? If this was an actual Lego set, it'd be like, you know, not even that sort of size. It's it's massive. Let's make it look cooler. But lots of cardboard, lots of cardboard. But yeah, we'll recycle all the cardboard. Okay, so how's the instructions for this one look? A lot smaller. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So, okay, so that's for. Oh wow, they really skip ahead a lot with the instructions on this. I mean, it's like, whoa, step one, do that. Step two, build all of that. Step three, step four, five, and six. Um, it's quite interesting as well, actually. Let's open it all. For the dump truck on the back, they're using chairs for it. There we go. The way. The yellow, it's weird, actually, that's weird. There's two different colours of yellow. Oh, it's got the multi-limb things as well. See, that looks like a slight, I don't know if you can see that. That looks like a slightly different colour, but I mean, it clips nicely, and it's a nice plastic. It's, it's almost feels like Lego. I don't, I can't really describe it, but it does almost, almost feel like Lego. All right, so where do these go on here? Oh, it's not really that helpful, is it? So I think that's two studs from the back. And two studs from the back. These wheels, ooh, ooh, not so good. And then one stood from the front, and one stood from the front. Need to get a bit, I need to get, I need, do you know what I need? I need, I need an overhead camera setup thing. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be a lot easier, better for this. Um, so where's that go? There. No, actually, do you know what? That is one stood from the back as well. Um, okay, yeah, that looks right. So, what we're looking at. So, we've got. Um, it's a great. The trouble is, it's like, look at the instructions. So, the first instruction is black and then it turns to grey, which is fair enough. But, <clears throat> but then, is that a light grey and dark grey? I imagine so. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. Couple of little black 2B1s. There and there. Um, another black 2B1 at the back. Okay. And then step three, it's like do all of the things. So we've got that there. We've got another one there. Couple of those little things. This builds actually, do you know what? This builds really, really nicely. It, it, it's just got that oh, 
tactileness to it that proper Lego has, but it just it just clips in and, and works quite nice. It does. It feel, yeah, I like. I do like this. Right. So for the back, uh, can you see there? Just, yeah. So we're gonna need two of these guys, like so, and. See, that's not very well designed because these are just going to kind of fall off. Um, so, one of them, because it's only going to be held by a flat stud. And the centre, one of those. Yeah, see, I think what they're doing is, the, you know, you could have just had one of those grey long bits there as a four, four by one. And instead they've got two, so it's just not holding together quite well but it's not bad it's not bad okay and then that guy clips on I suppose it does it does actually hold together on the actual back as well there so yeah it's, it's all right <coughs> okay so I think we'd cover that step so next guy is putting the wheel arches in place yes sorry I'm doing this off camera my my phone camera is going to stop recording because it has a like 15 minute maximum record time so I'll have to stop in a second and re-record actually let's just do that now okay that's better right so them and then two little 2b1 studs on the well, 1b1 studs on the front the colour's not bad the grey looks alright but again I don't know if you can see like that is a slightly darker grey to that grey so there's a bit of mismatch with the colours but still, quite quite interesting. Uh, a couple of those guys at the back. I'm interested to see how the dump truck pulls together. Let's see. Okay. Right. So, whoops, popped that off. That was my fault. Not the build. Hang on, have I built that too wide? Yes, I have. I'm a fool. That is not a six. That is a four. What are you doing, man? Let's try that again. There we go. I'll be looking for about six in a minute and go, what's going on? Okay, so at the front we've got... So yeah, so you see that makes more sense. That's a big longer piece. That, yeah. So we've got a, um, one of them. One of them. A yellow there. A little grill. And some of the little, oh, it's got a little angle pieces on it as well. Okay, okay, I see where we're going with this. That's cool. So that hoof's onto there. Nice, all right, cool. I like that. Right, so where are we next? We've got some yellow bricks here. So that goes over the front, that holds that and balances it all in place. Excellent. We've got two of these. And then we've got. We've got, you've got those there, and, and uh, that on top, and, whoops, uh, and, whoop. and you've got weird articulated limbs on the figures as go. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's not bad, and then, so, okay, so we've got one of those. There, one of those, there. Okay, and then the windscreen with... Oh, okay. So this bit here is showing... Oh no, it's not. I thought it was, I thought it was clear. Windows, well, 1v1 studs. Yeah, so that onto there, and then that. Weirdly, this glass feels better than the other one. But that, okay. Wow, that's not bad. Decal on it, engineering. Um, yeah, it's nicely, nicely um, rendered on there. Nice quality to it. There we go, okay. So you can't really easily, act, well, I mean, you can't put the figure in the van at all, actually, on this. That, that's a big detriment. There's no steering wheel in there. Um, but there is definitely no room if I get a pre-built figure. Let's get Officer Jeffers, and we sit in there. Um, no, he he will not 
So, so, so yeah, the cab design's not the greatest because he's way too big for it. So I can't actually drive. Um, but that looks quite neat so far. Right, so um, where are we next? Ah, next we're going to build the actual dump truck thing itself. So we need one of those guys. We need a hinge. And one of them. And one of them. Is that, is that right? Maybe. No. Oh, jeez, this is... This is messing with my head. So I think that and then that. No, it can't be that, like that. Right, okay, so you look like that. And then, um, okay, so we just basically stick all the seats. So this bit, um, I don't think is gonna hold together that well, simply because it's just so many loose pieces that can potentially just easily just, just wang off, you know? Um, needs like a, a piece, six piece stood on the back there. It would work better. Where's that six? Oh, yeah, I used it for that. Um, okay, and then that is just, yeah, one there, one there, and that just fits. Just clip onto that, yeah. Yeah, so you got a bit of a gap there. That's, um, but I mean, it looks quite cool. That's not bad. Um, and that basically just clips onto that. Yeah, okay. And go on here, I'm an idiot. So that needs to go. There. See what I mean? Yeah, they just they just fall off. It needs it needs some extra stability in the in the, the centre of it. Um and then there, so that, yeah, yeah, it closes all right, but yeah, you see what I mean? It's like, there's nothing really holding them together. Um, and then we got that clip of the wheels on. The wheels are a bit garbage. You could swap these out for some really nice, you know, proper chunky, like the, you know, the double size wheels. Um, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Um, we've got a weird spare piece there which I probably missed out from somewhere because I'm smart uh, no uh, I reckon then that maybe uh, those extra bits there are from um, yeah from the other builds but <coughs> that and then a thousand one pieces to put the little guy together I'm not going to bother with him too much effort but he's printed quite nicely so yeah, I mean that. I mean it builds. It builds all right. It, the, the studs hold together really, really nicely. I will say that. It's just that some of the design choices. I mean, look at the wheels. They look pathetic, you know. <laughs> um, some of the design cho choices are a bit thingy, but I mean it's not bad, and it does feel quite nice. Again, this one doesn't feel as greasy, weirdly. So it's probably some greasy assembly person for the last one. Um, but yeah, and you see, you can't close that fully because if you do. I'll pull that off there. Um, I could do with being an extra, like just one one fin brick higher, just to raise it up, sort of thing. I just quickly do, do that. Yeah. So yeah. See that closes properly now onto there. Um, so I'm just adding that little bit extra. I think yeah. If you put if you put a six by two just in there, just in yellow, that would give it some extra stability and change the wheels over. But. Do you know what? That's not bad. And I will say, for, for Pound Shop Lego, that is some of the best stuff. Oh, let me zoom out. I am far too close. Oh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Right. Uh, but yeah, for some Poundland Lego, I've got to say, that is some of the best stuff I have had. For three quid for that set. Um, I mean, you'd easily pay probably ten for Lego official equivalency of that kind of set. Maybe, no, I think like that would be like a £12 price point for it, no. Yeah, thereabouts. Uh, but for three quid, that's not bad. You get a minifig with it with all the weird extra articulation and stuff. I think, but for, for replayability, I mean, obviously these are, in essence, like the Lego creator ones, because you've got three sets in one. So 
for that kind of thing, I think it's quite good. And I would be interested to build some of the other sets as well, because you've got, where's the box? Uh, this guy here you have, so there was a dump truck that we built there. And then you've got a little, like, kind of like jeepy thing there, and then you've got a little, like sort of like, kind of like diggery thing as well. So, you know, for, for replayability, not too bad. And like I say, bar from the odd design choices, these, I mean that for a quid, you know, with one little minifig, it's decent, apart from the weird articulation of the figures. But you know, that's not bad. Um, so I will say, because um, I haven't seen anybody review this, this Build X stuff yet, I looked earlier on, and I looked on like YouTube, and I looked on like just on Google and stuff like that, and I couldn't really find anybody reviewing it. So this hopefully might be the first review of the fake Lego Build X from Poundland. But I, I would definitely keep out for more for more of these sets. I want to see definitely see if I can get the rest, the other two of these oversized bros because they're just hilarious. I really like them. Um, and like I said, the figure sets for four four mini figs for a quid of these guys are really not bad at all. I mean, you know, quite a few. Uh, um, you know, I mean, I got twelve mini figs for three quid. And buy from the odd ergonomics of them, which I suppose we've got to do really because obviously for um, you know copyright, um, trademark infringements and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm going to build this one up, um, and I'm going to build this guy up. I'm not going to put these on this video, uh, but I will put them onto my Instagram page, Adventures with Anders, if you want to uh, check that out. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is good, Flego? You know, um, personally, I think it's not bad at all. I will say. I am genuinely impressed. It's a heck of a lot better than some of their previous um, iterations of stuff. Again, some weird design decisions with the build quality. Not, not the build quality, but the buildability, as in, you know, it holding together like this guy here. You know, literally comes apart like that. It just a few little design changes would have made them a heck of a lot better. I mean, that one actually works far better without that bit just there, you know, connecting there. You could even, suppose, put it as a tail section, but then it looks a bit... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like, I like the use of seats, like chairs, to make the dump truck back. That's, that's quite neat, I will say. So yeah, anyway, um, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this is good? Knock off Lego? Personally, I do, and I will definitely be buying some more in the future, um, simply because it's so ridiculously cheap. I mean, you know, a quid, yeah, yeah, you can't really argue for that sort of thing, so yeah. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe. I'll be doing more of these LEGO uh, reviews. I'm going to be going out and getting some more bits of this, so I'll do another second review of this stuff in the future. Um, I think I did do some more expensive sets, which were a fiver, but I was a bit dubious. I didn't want to spend that much in case it was really, really poor quality. But they'd got one set, and it was quite a big tank. And I think that was five. So I might go and check that one out in the future. But yeah, thanks for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.